What's up YouTube? I have posted hundreds of do-it-yourself phone repair videos to my YouTube channel, Jerry Rig Everything. Hundreds, including this phone, the Samsung Galaxy S6. Go ahead and click that link if you're interested in seeing what's inside of this phone. Every time I get a new phone, I'm curious to how durable it's going to be. How easy does it scratch? How far can it bend before the screen cracks? I'm sure I'm probably not the only person who has wondered these things. So today I'm going to sacrifice my phone for science. The screen on the Galaxy S6 is made of Gorilla Glass 4. I will link a pretty sweet spreadsheet of the specs of the Gorilla Glass 4 in the comments below. But right now I'll assess some real world applications, first of which is rubbing my keys up against the screen. Nearly every phone will have the opportunity to brush up against metal during its life, whether in a purse or a pocket. I know my purse is always full of metal objects. The keys pretty much did nothing to the screen, uh, neither did a Phillips head screwdriver. Now I'm going to take a razor blade and my knife. You can see the screen flex from the pressure that I'm applying with this razor blade. It's pretty impressive that there's absolutely no damage done to the screen so far. I am not holding back at all with the razor blade. Just making sure I don't crack the LCD with the pressure. And besides that dust spec, you can see that there's literally no damage done to the screen, which is incredibly impressive considering that I just hacked away at it with a razor blade. Now, even though this test isn't completely a real-world situation, it's more just to satisfy my curiosity, what the metal frame of the phone looks like under flame. The plastic frame of a phone would probably melt a little bit or discolor, but with the metal frame, once you wipe off the smoke marks, it's literally just like it was when it was brand new. Let's see how the screen fares underneath the flame test. So far, so good. No discoloration or anything. The flame right up against the screen. Everything is still working just fine. Now what are we at, like 20 or 30 seconds with straight flame? You can start to see a little bit of discoloration in the AMOLED screen here. As the lighter is pressed right up against there, you can see that little speck. But if you wait 10 seconds or so, the spec goes away entirely. So, pretty impressive for the AMOLED screen as well. It holds up to heat pretty well. I'm impressed. You can see that the spec is completely gone now. And everything on the phone is still working, so we're going to go ahead and try the bin test. This was a huge problem when the iPhone 6 first came out, as well as the iPhone 5 and 5S. Personally, it seems like the frame of the Galaxy S6 is much more rigid th than the iPhone, but we'll see. It'll be interesting to see what breaks first, the back of the phone or the screen of the phone. Everything is still working. I'm going to go ahead and try round two here. I really am pressing as hard as I can to try to get the phone to bend. You can see that both edges of the phone are curving backwards, but yet the screen is still functioning just fine. I'm going to go ahead and try again, pressing as hard as I can into the back of the phone, and still nothing. The phone doesn't bend or kink at all so far. One more try. Still nothing. I'm going to go ahead and try to push it back the other direction, see if I can get the back glass to crack or pop. Still nothing. One more try with the back. I am not a small person, so it is impressive that this phone can withstand this much force. Neither the front or the back of the phone is cracking, even when I get both hands into it. You can see it flex out just a little bit though on both the front and the back as I'm pressing it through. Now the only time that I did get the phone to react is when I twisted it and bent it at the same time, putting more pressure on one side than the other. That's when I got a little bit of a kink out of the phone. But everything is still working. It mostly looks like an LG G Flex, which isn't exactly the uh, look we're going for, but it's impressive that everything is still working. Even now that there's a kink in the screen, it still won't break all the way through. Well, I think this phone has survived enough abuse for one day. If there's any interest, I will do a drop test video with what's left of the phone. I'm going to bend it back. You can see that right next to the SIM card slot, it's a little bit kinked. 
Anyway, let me know down in the comments below what kind of tests you would like to see done on a phone. What kind of durability tests would you like to see tested? If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe.